Aladdin and the Wonderful Lamp is a comic colour cartoon from 1934. This is directed by Ubar Works and Seamus Colhane and written by Otto Englander, Ben Hardaway and George Manuel. And it's okay, but compared to all of the other comic colours I've seen, it's not as good. And I think for me the reason for that is because the animation is very busy. There's a lot of clutter and I'm just not a fan of that kind of animation style. But it's an okay story. Aladdin is a young boy. And he is tasked with polishing these old lamps to make them shiny and new. And of course, when he's polishing one of the lamps, out pops this genie. And Aladdin decides that what he really wants is to be with the princess. And he uses the lamp to try and get what he wants. But whether or not he does, I'm not going to say. The narrative works well enough. It is very slow. It took a long time to actually get to the point of the genie appearing. I don't think the pacing is very good at all. But once we got there, it, it was okay. It wasn't too bad. Aladdin is an absolutely fine character. I, I neither like him nor dislike him, to be honest. The design of the genie is maybe not what I was expecting, and I kind of liked that. It was a little bit different to what I anticipated, uh, and that part of it I thought was quite pleasing. And the actual animation of the characters, no problems there. But as I said, it's very busy. Most scenes have a lot of clutter, a lot going on in the background, and often a lot going on in the foreground, far more than we need. And I just, I didn't find it to be a very pleasant viewing experience. The narrative was slow, but okay. But visually, it just wasn't that satisfying. And that's unusual for Comic Color. That's very unusual because I tend to find these cartoons to be really pleasant, beautifully animated, usually with gorgeous color palettes. The color palette, very, very nice. We have quite a variety of colors, but the actual animation itself is just a little too messy for my personal tastes. That being said, I didn't dislike it. I just wouldn't watch it again. If you're a fan of Comic Color in general and you haven't seen Aladdin and the Wonderful Lamp, then absolutely I'd say it's worth checking out. But for me, once was enough. I don't mind having seen it, but it would be very unusual if I were to watch it again. I didn't hate it, but I most certainly didn't love it.